first of all, very proud of my team um, and everyone involved. This is uh, this has been an awesome ride, uh, a heck of a journey, and uh, it was a great game. Uh, you know, you know the Marcos is a great team, and we had our chances. And uh, I'm just really proud of my team and and the effort that they put in. I'll just talk about the overall experience first. First time here, uh, the journey, uh, the week leading up to it, um, expectations, you know, maybe fell a little short, but yeah. just talk about the journey and, and your experience here. Yeah, I mean, this has been, again, it's been special. It's been a, we, we talk about extending the season all the time and how we want to, every time we win, just gives us another day, a chance to be together. And uh, and this season definitely lasted a lot longer than it has in the past, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. And then, you know, I mean, just going to keep it real. I mean, we're, we're a part-time coaching staff. Um, none of our coaches are full-time, including myself. Uh, we have other jobs that we do. Um, you know, our, our, our university supports us. Uh, front to back and and you know I'm not an excuse guy and I'll never make an excuse but you play the game and it, none of that stuff matters but but leading up to it it has a, it does have its uh, its pros and cons and um, you know just a small school from a from a small state um, and we made some noise and uh, we're really proud of that. I think the biggest part about this season is through everything that we faced, we just remained a family. Like all ups and downs like we were talking about in our after game talk. Um, we were just always playing for one or playing for our, like each other, playing for our seniors. We were always there for everyone and I don't think we ever really let any adversity truly bother us that bad. Um, I also just think, like Coach Mike kind of said, like we have a very involved team. We have all of our players, all of our players' families. We have people still watching us back home. Like we have so many supporting people, and it's just amazing to have that feeling. And I think that really helped us this season to get where we were because so many people were rooting us on and just cheering for us and wanted us to always play our best and get as far as we possibly could. And they helped us get there. And sorry for my voice. I kind of don't have it. Um, but to jump off of Delaney, like. Last year we made school history just going to the Super Regionals, so coming into this year there was a lot of pressure on us. And even though they tried to say there wasn't pressure, us as a team felt it and we felt like we had to do better and go further. And we just kind of like stuck together every pitch. We were with each other every single step of the way. It was we weren't going to let each other fall. We were going to push each other to go as absolutely far as possible. and. You know, we ended up here at the end of the day, and I'm so proud of all of our girls because we are, he mentioned, we're just a little school. We are just a little school in Delaware. We don't have dorms. We don't have anything fancy. A lot of us are still working jobs on our own just to pay for our rent and whatnot. Like, we have a, we have a lot of things to worry about, but they make it easy just when we step on those lines, when we step on the field that we just get to play. We get to be the little girls dreaming of a Women's College World Series, and we just get to have fun and be ourselves and, you know, we, just, we figured it out somehow this year. We did something. <laughs> we, we got here. <laughs> Coach, you got to follow that. I got a question for you. Okay. Um, just the, the, the fight that your team had, you know, just the, you know, the, that was a tight game, and obviously you don't want to lose a couple of games in the World Series, but for, for it to end that way, um, it's just tell me what it says about your team just that you know, you got down to the last play Yeah, I mean, we've we've been in a lot of situations where we've had our backs against the wall. We've had to scratch and claw and find ways to to come out. Um, you know, if if they gave us one more out, I still believe we had a chance to win. I mean, it just I feel like every time we had that out left, you know, this team just doesn't quit. They 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 fight hard, and just like Taylor said, you know, you know they, it's bigger than just a game of softball. You know, it's about it's about life, and that's. 
I think that's the big picture for us and what we try to do as coaches is try to teach them some lessons in life and you know just like in any family it's not every day it's not you know you know peaches and ice cream and all that stuff you know you got sometimes you got to tell people what they don't want to hear but um, you got to get in each other's face a little bit and we've had those moments and um, and, and we grow from it, and, and this group is, is it's unbelievable. I mean, it just, just the, the, the tight family that they are. They hold each other accountable, including us coaches at times. Uh, they don't let us slip either. Um, and, um, and they're special, and that's why they made it this far. Yeah, we have some kids that are listed as uh, well. They're they're juniors on the field, senior in the classroom. Every kid on our roster is eligible to come back next year. Um, and as far as I know, every kid said that they're going to be back next year. So. Yeah, I mean it's 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 crazy to think about it. We sometimes I have to be reminded, you know, just like at the ceremonies there at the end, and you know they kept saying sophomore and junior and freshman, and you know they never said that word senior. And I'm you know I'm sitting there thinking in the back of my mind, man, you know we're all back next year. It'd be nice to, you know to get back here again. And I know it's not guaranteed. And there's a lot of really good teams that that you know got eliminated before they got here. But uh, you know I definitely think that we have the opportunity to do that. Um, you know we need to definitely. You know, give these guys some time to take care of their bodies and get themselves, you know, back healthy again, enjoy their summer, and then we'll come back to work and we'll, we'll do it all over again. And who knows, you know, maybe you guys will be interviewing us again next year. I mean, that would be, that would be great.